Rudolf of Austria and his mistress Marie Vezera were found dead in the hunting lodge of Meierling on the morning of January 30, 1889. Did they actually commit suicide or were they murdered? Let's find out. Archduke Rudolf of Austria was born on August 21, 1858 at Luxembourg Castle near Vienna. He was the third of four children born to Emperor Franz Josef I of Austria and Empress Elisabeth in Bavaria, who is better known as Sissi. Like his two older sisters, the Archduchess Sophie, who died at the age of two before Rudolf was born, and the Archduchess Gisela, Rudolf was raised by his paternal grandmother, the Archduchess Sophie. As his father, Franz Josef, wanted his son to be a soldier first and foremost, little Rudolf was learned military exercises such as shooting and troop reviews starting at the age of three, and since he would one day be called upon to govern one of the world's most powerful empires, the boy was taught reading, writing, religion and the Czech and Hungarian language. At the age of six, Following the tradition of Austrian royal education at the time, Rudolf was separated from his beloved elder sister Gisela and entrusted to a tutor, the general count of Lorraine origin Charles Leopold de Gondricourt, who was known for his strictness. He traumatized the child with very harsh, counterproductive and unsuitable teaching methods. After the intervention of the Empress, Gondrecourt was replaced by Joseph Latour von Thürnberg, who was able to win the love of his pupil. The change provided Rudolf with a much more pleasant childhood and he always remained grateful to his mother for her intervention. Nevertheless, the Empress generally seemed to care little for her son, although of all her children he was the most like her. Rudolf suffered from his mother's absences as she traveled the world and in 1872 his grandmother, Archduchess Sophie, who had been responsible for his upbringing, died. In 1873 his sister Gisela was married at the age of 16 to Prince Leopold of Bavaria. The 15-year-old Rudolf, who now became quite lonely, had a string of girlfriends from that moment on. Rudolf and his father had an extremely distant relationship. The emperor, who was secretive by nature, hid behind court protocol and reminded his son early on that protocol did not allow anyone, not even his own child, to speak to him first. So the young prince could not initiate a conversation with his father. Rudolf's liberal political ideas were in stark contrast to his father's conservatism. He severely disliked clericalism and the privileges of the aristocracy and opposed the poverty of the working classes. In 1879, the search began for a suitable wife for Rudolf. After refusing the Infanta Maria del Piar of Spain and the princesses of Portugal and Saxony, Rudolf agreed to marry the very young Princess Stephanie of Belgium. The emperor and empress were less than thrilled with Rudolf's choice. The emperor disliked the father of the bride, Leopold II of Belgium, and the empress found Stephanie too young and ugly. Stephanie gave birth to a daughter, the Archduchess Elizabeth, on September 2, 1883. The birth of the girl was a disappointment for her parents, who had hoped for a son. Quickly, the initially happy marriage failed. The intelligent, unconventional and impulsive Rudolf and the formal, dull and serious Stephanie were mismatched. As the relationship between the couple deteriorated, Rudolf abandoned his marriage. As a result of his many affairs, Rudolf contracted a very serious form of gonorrhea. He infected his wife, with the result that she was unable to have any more children. Rudolf tried to cure himself with morphine, cocaine and alcohol, 
while he was trying to hide his poor health from his father. In the autumn of 1888, the now mentally unstable Rudolf met Mary Vetsera, the youngest daughter of Baroness Helene Vetsera. An intimate relationship between the two developed. On January 26, 1889, Rudolf had a violent argument with his father. The latter had learned that Rudolf had asked Pope Leo XIII for the annulment of his marriage. The Emperor demanded that his son end the relationship with Mary Vetsera, but Rudolf refused. The next day, Rudolf went to see his cousin, the Countess Marie-Louise Lariche, and told her that he was in danger. When the Countess asked him if the danger came from his wife, Stéphanie, Rudolf answered that the danger he was in was of a political nature. On January 28, Rudolf and Mary Vetsera left Vienna for the Meierling hunting lodge, where Rudolf presumably took his own life by shooting himself in the head on the night of 29 to 30 January 1889. The 17-year-old Mary Vetsera also died there. On the morning of January 30, 1889, Rudolf and Mary were found dead in the hunting lodge. It is generally assumed that Rudolf first killed Mary and then turned the gun on himself. The bodies were found by Count Joseph Hoyos and Philip of Saxe Coburg and Gotha, who were hunting friends of the prince. The Viennese court physicians performed an autopsy on Rudolf's body and, based on pathological findings of the brain, attested that the prince had been in a state of mental confusion, which assured that the crown prince could be buried according to the appropriate Catholic rites. The crown prince was buried on February 5 in the Kapuzinergruft in Vienna. Soon, various articles about Rudolf and Mary appeared in the German press, but distribution of the articles was banned in Austria-Hungary. The exact events of the night at the Meierling hunting lodge remains unexplained to this day, after witnesses remained silent for the rest of their lives or made contradictory statements. The alleged murder weapon came into the possession of Otto von Habsburg, who did not hand it over to authorities throughout his life. Zita of Bourbon-Parma, who was Otto's mother and wife of the last emperor, Karl I of Austria, insisted to historians during the last years of her life that Rudolf and Mary Vetsera were not killed by Rudolf himself, but had fallen victim to political assassins. In Zita's opinion, Rudolf had been the victim of a politically motivated assassination attempt by a foreign conspiracy because he did not want to take part in a plan to overthrow Emperor Franz Josef. However, Vetsera's private letters were discovered in a safe deposit box in an Austrian bank in 2015. The content of the letters revealed that the death of Rudolf and Mary was indeed suicide. Thank you for watching.